Yo, 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 what it do, what it is, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day, and today I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend himself, <laughs> my brother Jermaine, aka the nutritional teacher. What's good, Brody? How you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good, man. I'm good. That's a bet. So let's get straight into it. Um, your title is a nutritional teacher, yeah. so I want to ask you, what separates your nutrient knowledge and intake from the average person because i'm pretty sure you practice what you preach right yeah okay. absolutely so, so what separates you from the average uh, uh job? some uh some people they just use different uh you know they use fruits and vegetables that are like genetically modified mm-hmm. or you know they're, they're still doing because you know the vegan stuff you know people eat like tofu and stuff right. like that and i don't a lot of tofu and yeah, soy and stuff. I don't, yeah, so I stay away from all that acidic stuff. So man. what's your, I'm sorry to cut you off, what's mm. your dietary label? What do you mean? Are you plant-based, vegan? What do you consider yourself? Uh, not Definitely not vegan because, you know, vegan people, they they like eat eggs and all that other stuff. They You know what I mean? So... Well, they're not supposed I'm to. On the, yeah, they're not supposed to. Yeah. I'm on the alkaline side of things. Okay. Yeah, I follow the strict Dr. Sabi nutritional guide. That's right. what I follow. The you know the vegans and everybody else they they don't follow that that strict nutritional guide, which has shown that it it works. You know what I mean? You know, everybody everybody else they eating all this other. Fruits and vegetables that are genetically modified, like I said, and they're not seeing any results. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They're yeah. not having that uh, that that level that they're trying to reach. They can't get to. So, yeah. And yeah. That, and you said the reason why they can't reach it is because um, is it just because of the GMOs and what they eat, or is it something deeper than that? Uh, Cause not everyone that is vegan, like you said, follows the Doctor Sabi way. Yeah, some of them don't follow the Doctor Sabi way at all. Um, so, what separates the Sabi way from the average, you know, vegan? Um, I know you kind of covered it, saying the GMOs. Yeah. Is it anything deeper than that, or is that like- uh, the pH level of certain fruits and vegetables? Like some stuff, like I said, they use that is just acidic. Mm-hmm. But I think that's that's the main that's 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 what separates the two, honestly. Right. Because the Sabi way is. Uh, you know, it doesn't recommend broccoli or uh, doesn't cauliflower. recommend broccoli no. or cauliflower. Why is that? Because Be- most, you know, like most uh, trainers or nutritionists and whatnot, you know, it's like on the balanced diet for someone working out. It's like broccoli is like always there. Right. But you're saying the Sabi way doesn't recommend block- no. broccoli and cauliflower. No. Why is that? Because the first of all, you know, uh, they don't have a seed to reproduce themselves. That's what you have to. That's what you have to look at. Get what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, the molecular structure is not complete, so when you put it into your body, your it just doesn't recognize it. So it's just like you going to eat a piece of candy. You know, it has mm. no <clears throat> nutritional benefits whatsoever. I mean, I was in Costa Rica and I didn't see no no, no broccoli. All I seen was papayas, mangoes, dates, uh, habanero peppers, kale. Uh, and some some uh, some other stuff, but I, and bananas and coconuts, but I, I didn't see any broccoli. I didn't see no broccoli. That's crazy. I've never mm. I l- have never thought of that. And mm. yo, how is broccoli even made? Like I'm, it's made on a farm. It's grown. Like yeah. I've never seen how broccoli was grown or yeah, made. I mean, you know, it's just funny that you mention it. Does that it know, doesn't have seeds? Because I never thought of that. But it, it really doesn't. And they, yeah, they got stuff. They got so much stuff coming out, bro. It's it's crazy, y'all. Yeah, most of the farms are like, um, well, okay, never mind. I'm thinking of seafood farms. How like it's literally they're making seafood. Like, isn't that crazy? Man made, yeah, man made <laughs> fish and whatnot. So I, I was thinking uh, closer to that. Yeah. Um. So let me ask you. Um, why did you become? I'm saying plant based. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it's cool. Okay, yeah. So, so we we know what I mean when I say it. Yeah. Why did you become? When and why did you become plant based? When was back in 2015, 2014. Okay. Um, that's that's when it that's when it you know the snowball effect started going. Uh, and why I did is because I wanted to be at my purest state. One day I woke up. And it was a whole bunch of other things that I wanted to change in my life. 
And uh, I just wanted to be as pure as possible. And mm. I wanted to just change my whole life around. I was doing things that I had no business doing. And one day I just woke up and I, I, I wanted to change it. Um, at the time, also, I was working at a restaurant called Burger Fi. That's in Laurel Town Center. Mm-hmm. And um, my managers and stuff, they were real healthy. Not real healthy, but they they took their, their health a little seriously. Yeah. And... Um, I would I would never really see them indulging in the food that we serve. So, you know, I would ask them about certain things, you know, like, well, why, why don't you guys eat this and stuff like that? Like how we do, you know, the chefs and everybody that worked at the restaurant. All right. And they said that uh, it's just simply just not good. It's not good for you. And um, after that, uh, my brother Christian put me on a Dr. Sabi and um, showed me him and I, I I wasn't I didn't really give it a thought. I was just like, oh yeah, that's cool. And then yeah. I just did it my way. That my way didn't work. So mm-hmm. then I said, okay, I'm gonna come back and try the Sabi way, and it it, it worked. It worked. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. It, it sounds like uh, you changed your lifestyle yeah, as well totally. with your diet. Yeah. Um, a word that you mentioned earlier was pure. You wanted to feel yeah. your purest. Yeah. Do you feel that currently now? Yeah. Like, do you feel more pure than ever? Yeah, really? I feel good. I feel really good. Uh, yeah, you know, we're born into the society and uh, we just taught all these different things. And, you know, we don't really question it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, we're, 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 we're born into the society and like... You know, we just hate people, and we don't mess with that pe- that person because yeah. of that, and this and that, and all that, all that crazy stuff, man. Yeah, special. special. It doesn't come natural. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're not yeah. born thinking like, oh, I don't like that race because of that. You know right. what I mean. All that yeah. stuff is taught. All that stuff is taught. Yeah, especially with food. Taught. But that's how you said that. How I've pictured. I went, um, I've left the country a few times, and every time I come back, it's just a sudden change in the vibe yeah, in the air. So I always say how I picture America is, um, do you remember the Simpsons movie? How they put that big dome over um, whatever city or town that the Simpsons take yeah. place in. They put the big dome over it. Yeah. That's how I picture America, a yeah. big dome, and at the top, like, they let a hose in and pump, like, you know, certain, <laughs> right. like, just toxic gas and whatnot. That's how I picture America, because yeah, you yeah. feel it. If you, you leave the country and come back, you definitely feel it. Feel it. Yeah. Um, and like you said, with, you know, we're just not taught with certain, certain things. We just kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Food especially. Um, we just, like, for one, moods. You know, Mood, the change yeah. in moods, you know, certain yeah. moods that we have, certain yeah. energy levels that we don't have. Yeah. You know, we blame it on everything else. Yeah. You know, but, but the main cause, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, like tofu, for example, you know, people say, you know, what's wrong with tofu and this and that? Well, you, you should Google it. Uh, it has a high level of estrogen. I, I sent it to you last night, right? Yeah. Estrogen. Yeah. And um, for men, man, that's not good. It, it really... It, it causes us to grow breasts and all types of stuff and uh, really defeminize. I mean, like, um, uh, dema- demasculatize. Yeah, I uh, see. Yeah, yeah. Demascul- if that's yeah, a yeah, word. Yeah, 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 I think that's it. Nah, I know exactly what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Uh, yeah. So, like, one of one of the most um, listened to podcasts that I tune into is the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. And he was talking about that on one episode. He was talking about soy. Yeah. And like how much estrogen is in soy now. It's crazy. He, he wasn't saying like you know if you drink a glass of soy milk then you know you'll you'll grow tits or nothing. Right. But he was just saying like it's yeah like yeah people, you're not gonna just yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah disclaimer we're not right, saying right. we're not gonna if say you that. eat a piece of soy <laughs> yeah. then you're done for it. But, right but, but over time yeah yeah over yeah, time. yeah exactly. Yeah, over time. Um, let me ask you this: uh, What certain foods do you miss the most? I know now it's probably, you know, easier to say none. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, in the beginning phase, like let's say like year one yeah. or six month mark, yeah. what food would you say that you miss the most? Oh, man. Mm. I would say steak. Steak. Maybe steak, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah steak. Uh, I, I believe it. Steak. So, I think steak, yeah. So, uh, as you know, I work uh, part time at Whole Foods. Yeah. Actually, I just put it on two weeks. But <laughs> so, um, the whole like summer and fall, pretty much, I didn't eat beef or pork. Yeah. 
And I, I, I did, yeah, 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 it felt good for sure. Yeah, I bet. Um, so like, I would, and we, it's just so much steak, just so much seafood, steak, all types of beef, pork. But I, I don't, really, I've never been, you know, geeked about pork. Yeah, no but, pork. But just seeing so much of the steaks that come through, and then like, you know, if someone made one there, and then you would smell it, like it just would. Man, I would just be like, man, I'm going to cave in soon. I know it. So then, like, after a couple months, I did. I caved in. I had a burger. I had oh. a, some type of burger, like, with the onions and seasoning and the meat already. It was crazy. <laughs> so, mind you, I went months without eating beef or pork right. prior right. to eating this. Right. I ate this burger. No How'd you feel? I, it, yo, the burger sat in my stomach for, like, three days. You could feel it. Can't yeah. You? Oh, man. I had to, I, yo, mm. I, I, I had to detox after that mm-hmm. just to get it out of me. Yeah. It sat in my stomach for three days. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. And then it rots, mm-hmm. and then you know, pusses up, and then mm. it just causes havoc on the system, man. It's, it's not good. You know, our our intestines aren't the same as a lion or a zebra or you know this and that. You know, our intestines are very complex. It's coils. So just imagine what that piece of meat has to go through mm. in order to fully digest. On top of it being gritty and fat and all that other stuff, yeah, yeah it's just it's oh, the, yeah, it pays the havoc. Fat, the fat is what makes the steak. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like I said, I had to detox that right, and by doing that, um, I fast. You know, just oh, you to fast? Kinda, yeah. So I want to ask you, what's For your real? take on fasting? Yeah, fasting is good. Good. Yeah. Fasting is really good. If anybody has any uh, problems, like you know, sick, like I don't know, sickle cell anemia or something like that, definitely fast. Definitely fast and uh, drink herb water. So you can get the chamomile, you can get the blue for vein, you get the uh, sarsaparilla, the burdock root, the yellow dock root, the damiana. Um, you can uh, definitely thyme, thyme leaves and bay leaves. They're really good. And y'all thought I was playing when I said uh, he's a nutritional teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you yeah, you, you definitely want to. You definitely want to do that water fast, man. At least for a month. At least for a month, two months would be good. I know it's oh, it's so man. hard, bro. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm saying woof because yeah. I'm thinking of the end results to that. The end results is going to be great. A month of just cleanse yeah. what? So me, like I said, with, with my fashion, how I do it is like once a month, I'll go like a whole day without eating, and that's when I feel like like backed up. Yeah. Like today, or well, yeah, today and tomorrow, I'm doing a fast. Um, cause like a couple of days ago, like I ate like. Uh, spaghetti and mm. um, well, turkey spaghetti. Yeah. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff, and then I would eat late at night, and then I ate a whole bunch oh, of like yeah, snacks. Man. So like I would wake up, and it's just last night, just still sitting there. Mm-hmm. So when that's that, yeah. So when that happens, that's when I fast just to like hit a reset, mm-hmm. you know, and detox and cleanse everything out. Um, yeah. And like I said, yeah, it's, it's just water, but it, it helps. You know what I mean? It definitely like, helps. Yeah, it that, definitely helps. Mm-hmm. You got to clear out all that stuff in the intestines, in the yeah. lymphatic system, everything, your lungs. All that mucus, all that pus, all that stuff is just sitting in your body, and and believe it or not, that that's that's the culprit of those diseases and stuff is all the mucus and pus and all that stuff. Oh yeah, they're hidden. Yeah, I'm telling you, you, you ask the doctor where's the mucus and with all these diseases, and you're going to get your answer, yo. I'm telling you. I believe it. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me ask you this: Is it hard to st- well? Back again to, you know, the six month and one year period, mm-hmm. it's kind of easier to say no right now. You know, in the first year, let's say, was it hard to stay consistent? No, 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 no. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't hard to stay consistent because I knew what I want. I mm-hmm. knew what I wanted. You know what I mean? I, I knew where I wanted to go. And, you know, I'm a Scorpio, so I, I'm stubborn, man. So once I put my mind to it, I'm going to just go for it, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, and also... What 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 pushed me more is like how could the FDA and how could the government allow these foods into our society? You know what I mean? America, mm-hmm. the obesity is crazy, bro. Just ask uh, my brother Anthony, Manton Fitness. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Ant. Yeah, bro, for real. Uh, he'll tell you all day long, man. The obesity in America is crazy, man. It it's is. crazy, and and the people that are running this. Uh, all this stuff, man. They're allowing these McDonald's and 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 Burger Kings and Popeyes. 
You know, people will attack another people. For, you know, Popeye's chicken sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was literally an uh, episode of Boondocks. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yo, literally. Yo, and that's another thing. These movies and stuff, they have a lot of subliminal messages, man. Especially and, and Boondocks. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Simpsons. Look, like yeah, said, oh, yeah. Simpsons is like big. the goat of it. Yeah. Like, so many times they'll do something. <laughs> Or have mm-hmm. done something that pops up like yes. ten years later, like exactly. Like, what the Isn't hell? That crazy. Yeah, that that Super mm-hmm. Bowl uh, kind of prediction thing with the Falcons and Patriots was like the scariest one. Like, See? what the fuck? Yeah. yeah, bro, it's not a game, man. Yeah, and we're gonna get into that. How you know the FDA works with you know the the medical fields, and yeah. we're, we're definitely gonna get into that. But but that's what drove me. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Just you know researching and uh doing all that stuff that's what i was like man i'm not i'm not going to be another like a uh, guinea pig you know what i mean for mm. the system so i was like mm. nah uh, it has to stop i'm gonna just cold turkey it and i mean i fell on my face a couple of times when i wanted to do it my way right. you know what i mean yeah but so what 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 was your way my way was the vegan stuff yeah. you know i would I, would, I cut out all the meat, but I would still like eat white rice, mm. you know, not the wild rice or the fonio or the teff or the amaranth, you know, or the quinoa, or, you know, or the kamut or the spelt. I wanted to do the starchy uh, white rice and, um, you know, broccoli yeah. and carrots and all that stuff, stuff that doesn't have a seed to reproduce themselves. So, you know, I, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, it is. It's but, a lot, bro. <laughs> so, but but you're saying there was some temptation there for, but at the end of the day, your goal outweighed, you know, the temptation to turn back. Your goal yeah. to escape the the bubble, the dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. So let yeah. me ask you this: um, How do you feel physically and spiritually now compared to um, being plant based? I feel good, man. Yeah. I feel I feel really in tune with myself. You know, some people, uh, most people, they just don't. They just they're just not in tune with themselves. You know what I mean? Because of all these social media and all this other crazy stuff going on, their diet and all that. So I, I'm I'm I feel very very in tune with myself. I love myself. Um, all that emotional stuff is gone with me. Mm. And um, like I said, I. It's, it's not really too much for me to say. Yeah, I'm at your purest. I'm there. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm in my purest state, bro. And yeah. I mean, there's still stuff for me to learn, but of course, of course. But I'm feeling really good from back in 2014 and 15. That's for yeah. sure. And other people that know me, they'll say the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You can you can tell yeah. when someone is just yeah. on a whole nother level as far as being pure. Yeah. But it's that's that aura, bro. It's yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah, that yeah, aura, yeah, that yeah. energy. <laughs> so it sounds like the myths of mm. uh, the living myths of the vegan high is real. Yeah, bro, it's definitely, it's definitely real, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, and shoot, I mean, let's look at you know a couple weeks ago the Super Bowl, a plant based prototype, uh, Tom Brady yeah. who just won yeah. his seventh ring. Yeah. Is forty three, and it's it's so many quarterbacks. Let's let's talk quarterbacks right. who aren't even forty. Who are washed, 35, 38, who have been retired for some time and, you know, probably, you know, will pull something if they reach for the remote. Mm-hmm. This dude is 43 years old winning Super Bowls. Isn't and that crazy? Yeah, he's plant based. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long he's been exactly, yeah. but with that, you know, that documentary uh, that came out, I think, like a year or two ago with him, you know, yeah. he attested being plant based a lot, taking care of his body, but it's just, you know, it pays the, off. Yeah. Health yeah. is wealth, man. Yeah. I mean, shoot, the, it's a lot of people in general. Uh, taking over with it, um, you know, not just sports, you know, celebrities and whatnot, um, yeah. but, but with sports, have you seen, uh, it's a documentary on Netflix called Game Changers, have you seen it? No. So it's basically, it's, it's uh, um, you know, it's the advantages of plant-based diets from an athlete's perspective, mm-hmm. because everyone, you know, the common stereotypes is, you know, it can't, you can't get protein off of being plant-based. Mm-hmm. So this is going... And showing how you can, and you know the 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 good results out of it from the athlete's point of view. Mm-hmm. So it had football players, MMA fighters, bodybuilders, all that. It was literally a bodybuilder who's never touched um, meat or any dairy a day in his life, but he See. was yoked. See, you know what I mean. Um, even Schwarzenegger. I mean, of course, during when he was doing Mr. Olympia and whatnot, he was you know eating steak and whatnot. But afterwards, you know. 
he uh, switched and, you know, he definitely, you know, says he feels much better. Yeah. Um, and not even just with, you know, how you look on the inside. The MMA fighter who directs the documentary, oh, I'm sorry, who, you know, uh, the documentary narrates, I should say. Um, so he was doing a workout, a cardio workout in the ring. I'm not sure exactly which workout it was, but it was a cardio workout. And he usually, on a good day, I think he would do like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So he went plant-based for like uh, a month or two and did the same cardio workout and lasted like two hours. See? And could have kept going. He said See? he got could've bored. Kept going. <laughs> it mm -hmm. was like a, um, a Forrest Gump moment. He just yeah. stopped and was like, okay, I'm done. Um, but yeah, so it's and it, it's all over, like I said, with the celebrities too. Um, yeah. So... Let's talk about the actual, let's talk about the nitty gritty, the actual dishes, the actual foods that you make and promote on your Instagram page, which right. looks fantastic, by <laughs> the way, you, might I add. Like, yes. they, they legit look good. <laughs> colorful, right? Yeah, yeah very, vibrant. <laughs> very, uh, those are the exact words, yeah, very but, colorful and yeah, vibrant. Yeah. Um, so what do these dishes mostly consist of? A lot of minerals, man. Your calcium, your zinc, your phosphorus, your magnesium, your iron. Damn. Uh, all, all, all those minerals, every, all those minerals that your body is made out of, that you find in the forest. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to sit back and and think. You know, most of the animals that America consumes is cows, chickens, and all that other stuff, right? Yeah. But you know, they tell you cows. You know, you drink cows' milk. You have a high amount of calcium. But what do the cows eat all day? Mm. They grass. eat grass and herbs and yep. stuff like roots and yep. stuff like that, and they have the highest amount of calcium in their milk. Mm -hmm. So what what should what should we we right. be doing? Right. Why don't we just cut out the middleman? Exactly, bro. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, man. They actually talked about that on Game Changes that that, yeah. that, that you mentioned it. They they're like uh, argue to the stereotype that you can't get protein from, um, you know, being plant based is okay. You're eating steak, like you said. You're eating yeah. steak. <laughs> the cow, what the cow eats and is puts what in their body absorb. is what you absorb <laughs> and creates the protein. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but back back to your um, back to your uh, you know your dishes and whatnot. So uh, you know, yesterday I, I you had you made a smoothie for me, which was delicious. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, <laughs> it was, really it was good, very good. <laughs> and I didn't even know till yeah. afterwards that you told me that you used water in it. You know, yeah. most people would use almond milk. Yeah, uh, I, I used to use oat milk. In yeah, my, um, uh, and my protein shakes yeah. and uh, smoothies and whatnot. But you used water, yeah, and just, I was surprised because it tasted delicious. It tasted good, right? Hell it was yeah. only water, agave, strawberries, baby bananas, and mangoes. That's it. So let's, man. That's okay, it. okay, let's, we gonna get into the banana part because I you, you taught me a lot on those about yeah. bananas. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's stick to the water for a second. Right. Um. So. Of course, we know we know how important water is. Water like, is very important. We don't drink anything else. We're you know, made unless, of mostly water. Oh, yeah, 80%. Yeah, isn't I believe, that crazy? I believe. Mm -hmm. Don't fact check me and bully me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Listen, I think it's 80% or two-thirds or whatever. Yeah, something but, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, so what type of waters do you drink, you know, and use? Because there's so many, especially nowadays, there's so many different type of yeah, waters. Yeah, different types. You know what I mean? What's the type that you, uh, you know, it's, 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 so, it's just so many waters now. <laughs> pH, alkaline, Yeah, all it's, it's that spring. stuff. I'm going to clear it all up for yeah, you, brother. Yeah, I'm electro, clear it up. electrolytes. So yeah. let, let, let's get a breakdown on this water talk. So, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. So I drink the Crystal Gazer water. That pH is like a 8. Eight, I'm gonna say an eight. It's a cool eight, but there's another company called Eternal. Their their water is crazy, crazy good spring water. It's like a nine point five, uh, and you know, like tap. You want to stay away from the tap water. You want to stay away from. Um, uh, <laughs> My bad. No, you good, bro. You want to stay away from uh, the Eternal. Um, not the Eternal water. The uh, what? Uh, Essentia. Essential? No, no, it's Essentia? that water. Is it? Yeah. It's like black with it's like black the and red. red. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, want to yeah, stay yeah. away from that water, y'all. Check if y'all drinking it right now. Check on the back. Yeah, I know a lot and of people that drink that. So what's going on with that? It, look on the back on the ingredients. What's it say? It, well, first, why is there ingredients mm. if it's water? Mm. You see what I'm saying? See, they 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 got you right there. So. um they I'm, use I'm chemicals. Reading, I'm reading the back. I don't of think my that one shows spring. it though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. Gonna say, that one doesn't anything. show it. But the uh, essentia, no good. Uh, it has chemicals. Uh, I remember I went out to the store and I bought like, like at least three cases of that water. And immediately after drinking like two bottles, 
Because, you know, I drink water, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a headache. Like, I had to lay down, and then I looked on the back of it, and I was like, damn, why is this water? And it has all these chemicals and stuff. It had, like, calcium chloride, and uh, I forgot the other one. It was, like, a sulfate or something. And um, it probably hit you so hard because your, yeah. your body was, you were cleansed. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Was, so yeah. you were cleansed. But with, yeah. with, you know, the average person who has all types of stuff that can adapt to that and just keep yeah, it the moving. Yeah, the bodies adapt to they, that. They won't even tell They're the not difference. even going to know the difference. But yeah, you want to stay away from that. You want to stay on the alkaline side, uh, the alkaline side. That's the side that you want to stay on. That's that's life. <laughs> Acidic is is what you want to stay away from. Is it doesn't do the body good if cons- consuming acidic things. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So the tap water you want to stay away from. They filter it out poorly. You know, um, also get a shower filter, but they they filter it out poorly. Same thing. The pH the pH is like a has to be like a five. It's so not the, good. So the higher pH, the better. Because I'm the yep. better. Yes, correct. Cool, cool. Correct. Because I'm learning so much right now. Because I'm gonna be honest. I'm one of those tap users. I've been like always joke and say it's good protein in tap water. But no, I <laughs> like I can clearly taste. I, I can somewhat taste the difference, yeah. but I just don't mind it because, like you, like you said, you drink a lot of water I a day. A lot. I do too. It's, How much yeah. you drink a day, at least? A gallon. Yeah, yeah, that's, I, uh, yeah a gallon. gallon. So yeah. I have like a. Um, I got off Amazon like a gallon. I uh, should have brought it in here. Like a water jug. Yeah, and it yeah. has the mark off per time. Yep. But you know, since I just fill it up and go to work and be on the move, I just fill it up in the sink and yeah. keep it pushing. You yeah. know what I mean, but. I, listen, I'm I'm yeah. learning. I'm learning from you. Too yeah, you as know, well I was right looking now. at you like, man. Yeah, I know, bro. I know. <laughs> yeah, you got no top water, man. And there's other companies that um, it's the same thing. You look on the back and they'll have a bunch of ingredients, but those two companies right now, as far as I know of, is they're good. I haven't had any detrimental effects. I haven't had any effects. Uh, so I've been using that for a long time at least like four or five years so i had no problems with those those companies yeah and so the, yeah. So the alkaline in spring I've, i have been drinking heavy spring lately yes anytime i'm not drinking out my jug i drink spring like right now this is spring but yeah like if i'm you know normally kind of spring move. water is uh ph is good mm-hmm. unless they filtered it out reverse osmosis meaning they stripped out the water in the filtration process and the water is basically acidic. Mm. It's acidic. It has no life. You know what I mean? It's it's dead. We actually sell reverse. We have... Okay, wow. So this all makes sense. Yeah, I did it. Actually, I did a test. Yeah. It was in Mom's Organic Market. They had the reverse osmosis mm-hmm. machine and all that, yep, the ion yep. stuff. And I um I bought the pH strips from the Mom's. Mm-hmm. And I got had like a glass jar. And I, I filled it up. And... um. I, I put it I put the little strip in the in the in the water mm-hmm. and it was acidic after the lady told me no the the pH it has a high alkaline mm-hmm. whatever because yeah. they have like three different modes or whatever right, but I right. tested all of them all of them were acidic all of them and, you know they were ready to throw me out the damn store after yeah, that yeah yeah <laughs> I mean shoot that's because with us and moms pretty much you know are the same uh, when I say us and yeah, Whole Foods the same because we yeah. have the reverse osmosis. Mm-hmm. Which is thirty nine cent per gallon. Yep. And we have the high pH, quote unquote. Yeah. Which is ninety nine cent per gallon. Yeah. But now it makes sense, you know. All for, acidic. Okay. It's, cool. it's acidic. Um. So this the waters. Like I said, you use water in your smoothies. Yes. You know, which most people might listen to and be like, eh, "Nah, I'm telling y'all, it was it was fire. good." So do you use any other sweeteners, or is it just the straight fruit? I use date fruits. Date fruits. Date fruits or figs. Fig fruits. You ever heard of figs? Yeah, we yeah, yeah. They have a high amount of calcium. Really good. Same as the dates as well. So they're really good for the bones and the teeth. Really? Yeah. So that's like the natural sweetener. Do you use uh what is it, agave? I do. Okay. Yeah, that's what I put in the smoothie. Oh yeah, okay. I put that okay. in the smoothie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Regardless, it's great. Um and you said you used the one I had had baby baby, baby bananas. bananas. Yes. Baby bananas. Not the conventional bananas because those are acidic. You want to stay away from those. The baby bananas are alkaline. <laughs> yeah. So you gave me yeah. a rundown about bananas, which yeah. I had no idea of yesterday. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and reiterate it to the people. So for one, what's the difference between a baby banana and a regular banana? So the difference is, uh, like I said, again, the the conventional banana, the regular banana is acidic. So you, so you want to stay away from that. The baby banana is alkaline, and it still has a seed. You mm. get what I'm saying? 
the the other the other banana doesn't have a seed. Doesn't have a seed. Doesn't have a seed. It might have wow. like a little speck, but it doesn't no, have a seed. Yeah, Normally, yeah, the no baby bananas, bananas you see like as it's not the biggest seed, but it's it's bigger than that little whatever. Right. And sometimes they don't even have those in the regular conventional bananas. So those are the, that that's the that's the only difference, honestly, um, and where they're grown at. Uh, you know, the conventional banana is probably grown in the U.S. somewhere, and the baby banana is grown in Mexico or Honduras or Brazil. Yeah. Uh, you know, Guatemala, uh, all these different tropical places. Same as the burrow banana and the green banana. Those are alkaline. Those are okay to eat. No plantains. Plantains are not good. They're acidic. You want to stay away from those. I'm not going to hold you. I love plantains. Yeah. Let's talk about the, um, what you say, the burrow and green? Well, those burrow are two. and green bananas. Let's talk about those. Because like I yeah. said, you, you you pulled these up to me yesterday. Yeah. And I had no idea. You that probably never even seen them. I didn't bro. even know bananas yeah. had different species. Like, yeah, what's bro. going on here? So, um, yeah, let's let's talk about each of those for a second. Yeah, so the green banana, I mean, the honestly, both the same. They all have minerals and everything. Just different shapes, but one has a higher mineral than the other one. You know, it could be zinc or phosphorus, you know what I mean? But it's hardly not no really differences, only like where they're grown. Mm -hmm. Maybe it all depends on, you know, what location, but there's not really too much of a difference. You know, one has a higher mineral content than the other one. That's the only difference. And when you say green banana, it's literally green. It doesn't turn yellow or. No, it doesn't turn yellow when it's ripe. It it turns like a uh, a greenish brownish type. Like a light brown, like a, a beige. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. It, it kind of keeps its color, but you you can tell because it will give off like a sweet aroma, mm. and it'll be soft. Where do you find these fruits? International, never, international, international market, markets. Super best, yeah, super best. All right, we yeah. gotta if 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 you aren't already doing it. And you got to get on it. I know I got to get on it. I, had, yeah, I thought I was doing something because it's at Whole Foods, just like regular bananas and organic. And I thought I was, you know what I'm saying, top dog yeah. by getting organic joints. You no, know what I mean? no, no, no. Any, you know, that's what people think, you know, if it's organic, it's good for you. But that is 100% not true. Yeah. It is not true. So let me ask you, what is your favorite fruit ever? Mangoes. Mangoes. I love mangoes, bro. Mangoes, uh, chamoyas, soursop. What are those, chamoyas and soursop? Tr- chamoyas are fruits that have a high mineral content of all the minerals, uh, iron, calcium, phosphorus, zinc, magnesium, copper, uh, selenium, uh, a whole bunch of minerals. They Those are the mineral-packed fruits, the uh, soursop and the chamoyas. They do wonders, wonders for the body. What are they like? What 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 does it look like? Oh, well, compare, okay. So they're compare. green. It's, the chamoyas are. Uh, how do I say it? Uh, you have you ever seen like the Halo uh, helmets? How they have like different contour lines? It's like, are you talking about like actual game? Example. You talking about the video game? Yeah, Halo? that's probably like a bad okay, example. Because no, no, I, I didn't know which Halo you were talking about. You know about how, like how their face mask has like those honeycomb yeah, lenses yeah, 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 and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it kind of has those contour lines or whatever. Okay. Um, but it's green, and then it, the inside is uh, the flesh is white. With a black, a whole bunch of black seeds. And you, how do you how do you spell it? Let's look it up. Uh, let's go ahead. How do you spell it? I think it's like C H Tremoyas. Just type it in. I I don't know how to. Yeah. Is this it? Let me see. Images going to images. Images going to images. It's only showing the sign. Type of fruit. There it is. This one? The green one. The green right one. Here. Yeah. Okay, I have seen this somewhere. Yes, yes. Sometimes they have it at your store. Yeah, yo. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it once or twice. Yeah. And now search up Soursop. 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 I thought you were talking about, uh, what's the name of that uh, Mandarin? Uh, I don't Sat- Satsuma? Satsuma? I ain't Mandarin. never even heard of that. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. I never had it, but we sell it. I, we sell yeah. some crazy shit yeah. in the store. Soursop fruit. That's oh, it. Shit. Sour sop. That yeah, it's legit. good. Really good. That looks legit. Yeah, that's really good, bro. Damn. The chamoya grows in like South Asia. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the sour sop, uh, I think it grows in like Honduras or those tropical places. You'll find, yeah. you'll find sour sop. Rainfor- Rainforest is where you'll definitely find sour sop. That shit looks serious. Yo, it's good. It's so good, bro. Damn. My favorite fruit right now. 
for the longest, it's been plums, you know, kind of plums. Basic. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite fruit right now, um, you said mangoes. My favorite fruit is a champagne mango. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yo. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Listen, we're not geeking hard for nothing. Y'all, but the thing about yeah. it is they're seasonal. Yeah. They're yeah, seasonal. seasonal. I'm like, damn, why don't we have them anymore? And red mm. mangoes are cool, but they don't nah, fuck with that champagne like that. mango. Yeah, nah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, bro. And when they're ripe... Yo. Nice and ripe, those things are next level, <laughs> bro. It makes the smoothies jump up. Ooh, like, <laughs> I can bro. imagine, I can yeah, imagine, bro. yeah, man. Shout out to the fruits. Yes. Um, so like we said earlier, a couple stereotypes with you know being plant based is you know, uh, protein, you know, fill you up, whatever it may be. Um, you know, people just kind of stick to what they like, which is you know. Food or or taste bland. I would say bland. Oh yeah, tasteless is one of the top ones, right? Yeah. So why is it that so many of the best tasting foods are so shitty for our bodies? What do you mean? Well, it's kind. Of, I will. I, I I don't expect you to really like. You know, I was kind of like a figurative and little. Mm. Uh, oh, okay, question. okay, yeah, okay. Like yeah. why? You know why? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, So you know, so many good tasting stuff are bad for us, but right. it, it ties. I see back, what you're saying. Yeah, it yeah, ties back to yeah. what we were talking about earlier mm-hmm. with you know the whole you know FDA and you know yeah. medical. It just all ties into the. It all the, ties into yeah, yeah. To, to the government's plan yeah. to you know control disabled mm-hmm. and slowly kill off the U.S. population. You know because uh, like when you when you ingest these different fruits, your creativity just kicks in. You know you start to ask questions and and on this path you're gonna learn to research every single thing. That's what they don't want you to do Mm-mm. because they already know if you start thinking, they have no control over your life, man. Oh, yeah. They have oh, no yeah. control. So yeah. when it, when it comes to them and their you know their uh, their mission I guess we can call it yeah um, how I've I've always said the uh, a saying that I've always you know uh, liked which is so true is the best way to hide is in plain sight plain sight you know yeah. always um, yeah. it's it's in your face mm-hmm. you know what I mean and that's clearly what's going on you know with us so I would like to talk about that for a yeah. little bit um, and you know the top two this is my opinion this is like my theory. Of the top two things that, you know, pertain to that, to hiding in plain sight yeah. with, you know, the way we eat and whatnot is uh, location and marketing. Mm-hmm. So, for one, have you noticed <laughs> today, in today's time, how it's a new Royal Farms popping up like every week? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Every That's week. crazy, y'all. <laughs> Royal Farms yeah, is like kind of taking over more than McDonald's. Yeah, like yeah. Royal Farms, yeah. Popeyes, mm-hmm. is so many. Like they're everywhere, yeah, everywhere, man, everywhere. Um, and that goes with the location part yes. of my theory. So that uh, how I see it is that started with uh, Ray Kroc, who was the founder, and I say that with quotations, of McDonald's, and I have to say that because the McDonald brothers really found it, but he kind of, you know, took it from them, so I have to give them their props. So um, what he did was, um, I read a book where it talked about how we uh, gave, like, a speech at a college class once, and afterwards, the class, you know, invited him out for drinks, for beers, so he went, and he's talking to the, uh, you know, the kids or whatever, or, you know, the adults, it's college, and um, he asked them, what business am I in? Mm-hmm. And they thought he was playing. They was like, what do you mean? You're in the hamburger business. What are you talking about? He was like, I mean, yeah, that's my profession, but my business is in real estate. So, so what he did was he broke down how real estate and location is the key to success. Mm-hmm. So what he did was he, today, you know, dating back to his work with in real estate, all the way leading up to today, McDonald's own some of the most valuable intersections and street corners in the world. Mm-hmm. Like if you think about it, any busy like uh, intersection or you know mm-hmm. small highway. Let's let's use Laurel. Right. Let's use both sides of Laurel. Let's say you're coming off of 295 and you're getting off the uh, 198 exit. Right. You may have to go to Walmart or you may just be going that way. When you get off the exit, what's the first thing that you see? McDonald's, Chick Fil A, and Burger King. I mean, before you even see Walmart. Yeah, fast so, food. Yeah, and it's on the right. It's on the right, right hand, hand side. side, right? And also, you know, in uh, predominantly uh, black, er- um, urban areas. Yeah, yeah. Um, communities. 
You don't you don't see no Whole Foods, no Moms Organic Market. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely not. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely not. They got liquor stores. They got yeah. the weed shop. They got all this other stuff. They got the tobacco shop. They don't got vape shop. No, yeah, yo. You can't even go to the corner Chicken store spot. to get these type of fruits that I just named. Yeah. And stuff that you need. And they're always more expensive too. Yeah, and they're expensive as well, bro. Um, I didn't even know how expensive a fruit could get till I started working at Whole Foods. We have something called an organic honey crisp apple. That thing is at least two dollars per apple. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yes. Yo, and and also the coconut water there is like, so expensive, bro. And dried mangoes oh, yeah. are so expensive, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A like carton of coconut water is like six dollars, yo. And they don't even push for um. Are there Whole Foods and Moms commercials and whatnot? No. No. And that goes to the second point no. that I, you know, um, spoke mm-hmm. of earlier, which is mm-hmm. the marketing, you yeah. know, the marketing part of it. Um, you know, let's use McDonald's again. And, and I'm using McDonald's for both parts because when it comes to, you know, when you think of fast food, you think of McDonald's. Man. When you think of the most successful fad, fast food franchise that's the most world pronoun, but yet one of the worst for you, then you think McDonald's. That's why right. Super Size Me used McDonald's. <clears throat> that really was the game changer oh, yeah. right there, bro. Oh, yeah. That switched it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, so, again, with Ray Kroc, um, one day, um, again, reading on the same thing I was re- reading about earlier, he said that he doesn't make the best burgers. Yeah. McDonald's, even today, McDonald's doesn't make the best burgers, no. but they sell the most burgers because they sell their burgers the best possible way. Right. They have the best marketing strategy. They have the best algorithm. Absolutely, mm-hmm. to sell their burgers. Um, mm-hmm. And it starts with the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Because yeah. like we said, how it all ties in, um, we spoke about yesterday how the FDA, they work hand in hand with the pharmaceutical yeah. fields. Yeah. It starts with the kids. If we get these kids to eat bullshit, you know. Um, since you know, since they're old enough to say French fries, then by the time they're, sure, you know. But you know, it goes way back. It goes way back to when they're in their mother. Oh, okay. Let's get and into their that. mother is eating all that stuff. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. So that so it creates. It, yeah. The see, that's addiction. what create. Yeah. See, it goes way before. Yeah. And then, and then generation and generation. Like you gotta you gotta notice, man, around all these holidays, these people are getting sick. Why are they getting sick? Because they're cooking all these traditional uh meals. Isn't that crazy? They're cooking these hams and these turkeys yeah. and these whatevers. And Damn. long and behold, they get sick and then it's like coronavirus at its all time high, blah, 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 blah. And you know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. Like you said, it's timing. Timing is everything, bro. Yeah. Damn, Damn, so like they know. They already know. So so Thanksgiving, high supply of turkey. So they already know, bro. The, the turkey Thanksgivings, yeah. the Thanksgiving turkeys, I should say, may have a little more umph yeah. than the regular time of the year. They're like, okay, they're they giving it out for free. This is the best time to, you yeah. know, kind of kick it up. Um, yeah. I like how you said it goes way back. It so, goes way back. So with um with uh family health conditions. Yeah. Right. I never saw how those some most could be passed down mm-hmm. like high blood pressure high cholesterol has such and such it's like and then I, they say they run in, it runs in the family yeah it doesn't run in, in the family yeah guys. It so doesn't I'm, run. I'm like how how can that if i have it okay they may be a little more skeptical to it maybe i'll give them that much i'll give them that much of the benefit of the doubt mm-hmm. but to say i can give my child i can pass off high blood sugar high, whatnot it's crazy but that happens because my, the child is under the same roof as me. So the child, what I grew up eating, my child is going to eat. Exactly. And that's how it gets passed down. That's how down. it gets passed down, yo. I'm like, it can't be evolution. Like, it's, no. It's, it's no way. It's time for It'd the... be no point of life. You yeah. think the creator created us to get sick? No. Yeah. It would be no point of life. Mm. It would be no, absolutely no point of life. You got to understand something. You know, when you take these... I'm not... Comparing us to animals, no shape or form, but you just have to just take a look and uh, and just listen and just watch <clears> things sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of times we just repeat stuff that we already know. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, we just don't take the time to listen to learn something new. We're only repeating stuff that we already know. So when you take like a... Uh, any animal or whatever you bring them into the zoo or you bring them into uh, a domestic home or something what you what do you need next you need a vet you know what i mean but mm-hmm. in the in the wild they didn't have all that stuff and they flourished and they were happy and they didn't 
get sick. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. only to it's only when they they took them and they domesticated them is when they had the problems. Mm. Is when the problems started to occur. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because they're feeding them the wrong substance. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And they're, and they're pushing it, man. Yeah, man. Like I said, especially with the kids, just to kind of re- reverse back to mm-hmm. that. Um, I was thinking how like our generation, I think millennials probably had it as kids, man. It was bad. Because mm-hmm. I, w- I was on Twitter and it was showing like, you know, certain uh, toys that came in. Um, Kids happy meals. meals yeah. yeah, happy meals. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, damn, I remember how geeked I was. Bionicles, the, all that. Do you remember the Rugrat watch? Yeah. Do you remember Boy. how geeked we were to yes. collect those? Yes, the Rugrat watch. Yo, we were <laughs> super geeked to collect them, but it, like I said, it started with us and the Yo, marketing. You blew my mind right yeah. there, bro. The Rugrat yeah. watches, bro. So what did we have to do to get these watches? Yeah. Ma, we got to go to Burger King. I got to get a kid's meal. Right. We damn sure ain't going to throw the kid's meal away. Right. We running through five kid's meals and two weeks just to collect all these watches yo isn't that crazy easily that's crazy bro it is that's crazy it is and you mm-hmm. can even and it, it was in the cereals too yeah cereals too <laughs> yeah and cereals like when we was younger it was it's not as as bad now nah. they had to cut back because they really got hit but yeah people got people yeah, got hit <laughs> yeah but cereals when we was younger yeah. same with the toys and yeah. speaking of cereals this blew my mind uh not too long ago i was in walmart and i was walking down the cereal aisle so all the Captain Crunch, Cookie Crisp, Tricks, Fruity Pebbles, you know, any fruity, any sugary cereal, you know, with the, at the highest level that you can think of was at either eye level or lower. Yeah. For kids to right. see, to grab their attention. Right. Uh, Raisin Bran, um, you know, Cheerios, you know, anything that's, you know, not a lot of sugar or any sugar at all as far as cereal, Wheaties was at the top. Yeah, see. I'm talking about see? all of it. And that blew my I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, wow. Yeah. It is in broad it's literally broad daylight broad like you said. Daylight. Like you said. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm it's saying? It's in front of our face. Yeah. Um but like like we said earlier, that's when, you know, people started getting hip and whatnot. So how I see it and then I'm pretty sure you can, you know, kind of um, you know, attest to it is once, you know, FDA whatever they got hip, they was like, okay, we can't use it in, you know, foods that are, you know, cereals, fast foods, right. whatnot. So let's push it on to what they think is healthy. So they're thinking these fruits and vegetables are healthy. So let's push it on to that. That's yeah. when the rise in GMOs and whatnot came about. Yeah. And like you said, I thought I was doing something, you know, big, eating organic bananas. But then you mm-hmm. broke it down. Now, listen, it, it ain't all. It no. Ain't, yeah. No, no. They pushed mm-hmm. it right on. Right yeah, on bro. Over. That's what they do. Right on over. That's what they do, man. All right. So um, earlier in the show, you were talking about Dr. Sabi. Yeah. So I have a quote for you by the late, great Nipsey Hussle, <laughs> R.I.P. Yes. They killed Dr. Sabi. He was teaching health. And when I say they, I think we all know who I'm talking about or who he was talking about. So with that being said, I know you you kind of, you know, broke down earlier how you, um, you know, show a lot of gratitude to being introduced to his work. Right. So Because all the stuff that I'm telling you guys, this is not my stuff. That's stuff that he has gone through. He has tested. He has... You know, cured people with the mm. diseases. Y'all can search it up. Y'all don't believe me. This is all his stuff. This is not my stuff. I'm just I'm, I'm just a messenger, bro. Right. That's all mm-hmm. I am. I'm not nobody spectacular. You can learn it. People at home they can learn it. You know what I mean? So it, it's all that man. That man. That man devoted his life to 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 see us uh, uh, win, bro. Like mm-hmm. honestly, man. Like. It's crazy, bro. Because you know, uh, you know the government killed him, man. I'm yeah, that's, just say that's, it flat that, out. That's like, why I said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nip, Nip called it. They, yeah. You know, um, it's a lot of conspiracy around mm. him and some of his biggest followers. Well, I would just say followers with biggest platforms. Going mm. back to Left Eye Lisa Lopez yes, from sir. TLC. Mm. You know, a lot of people. You know, I don't know. I'm not. You know, a conspiracist right now yeah. saying, you know, everyone that you know following him died because of him. But if you look at it, Left Eye Nip. They were at the highest possible stage mm-hmm. that a, a um, an African American person can have, right. and they were, you know, killed in just weird ways, very real weird ways, yeah. along with Sabi himself. Because mm-hmm. um, so, they said that he died from pneumonia, but how is that possible when I eat everything he eats and I haven't died from pneumonia yet, right. and I'm never going to? <laughs> 
it sounds like you, along with a lot of other people who, you know, um, really, truly studied him and his work, mm-hmm. um, you know, he met a, his work met a lot to you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, now his son, uh, Victor Bowman, he's uh, he, he's he's taking it over and he's uh, he's going for he's going he's going hard, man. That's what's up. I didn't he's even going, know. He, I didn't even know he had a son. Yeah. 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 Victor, I, I'll send you his Instagram. Um, I think it's, his Instagram is Dr. Sabi's son. Okay. But man, he's going. He's picking right up where his father left off, and he's selling products and all that. Man, he's doing good. That's what's up. Now I yeah. did hear, um, and you know, I could be slightly wrong with this. I did hear that, like the government kind of took over some of his products after he passed. Yeah, they were they that? they influenced. Well, they didn't influence, but his what happened was um, I forgot his other son, and I think it was his uh, one of his daughter because he had many kids. They uh okay, they try to overthrow the biz the business yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah I think it's like the fig tree or something I think that's their their new logo company or whatever but mm. you want to stay away from them I yeah. I believe I'm just just contact Victor <laughs> yeah. Victor Bowman Doctor Savy Son that's his Instagram he has the real herbs like the Virginia snake root and all right. these other different herbs the chamomile and a whole a whole bunch of different herbs that. Probably I don't even know about. So he he's he's really going hard with it, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah cause I, I I'm like, damn, that's that's messed up. But I mean, mm-hmm. shoot, that's how it goes. Cause pretty much is is living proof that he was he was and his work is um, a gateway to the halting of the self killing orchestrated by the government. Yeah, and it's you know it's it's always that you know any type of contribution towards um, black knowledge that leads to black empowerment, which was his work. Mm-hmm. Is you know either misconstrued or halted if it yeah. can't be misconstrued by the government. Like right. we said, they kind of took over his work and kind of twisted it mm-hmm. and made it something that it ain't, mm-hmm. which was really worse. Right. And people, you know, didn't know any better, so right. th- and that's what they do. Um, that's what they do. They slander everybody that that talks the uh, the knowledge, man. That's why I was in the shadow for so long, bro. I, I've been doing this before it was a trend. You know what I mean? Um, but I just seen how, like you said, all the leaders just something happens to them, and uh, you know I, I got too much to lose, so I was just like, eh, I don't know. But talking with talking to friends and my my brother Anthony, you know, and Christian and and other people too, you know, they were like, man, you gotta you you gotta you gotta teach people this stuff, man. Yeah. You know, life Absolutely. is short. You gotta teach people this, these things, man, because. Like I said, these children are are, are are getting sick and having all these different complications that could have easily been prevented from just cutting out the BS. That's it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. It's yeah. crazy. So are you against the um the uh the vaccine? You know, this vaccine is going crazy. Yeah. Um, going around and whatnot. I've never been for any type of like I, I don't, I've never even had a flu shot. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, but it, it, yeah, it sounds like you're against it. I mm-hmm. mean, of course. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm totally uh, against that because you know, in the Bible it says that the herbs are for the healing of the nations. So mm-hmm. who are you going to listen to, the created or are you going to listen to the creator? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's how I go about it, and um, I'm walking proof. So y'all can go on my Instagram and see everything that I make and look how rejuvenated my skin looks and and all that stuff, man. Yes, yeah, sir. And check out them dishes. Like I said, them yeah. joints look good. Um, and yeah, like you said, his IG is, if you're watching on YouTube, it's been on the screen at the beginning, but it's also at the bottom on the description. And if mm-hmm. you're listening on your podcast platform, his IG is in the description as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nah, keep it going for sure, man. I mean, listen, we, we like we said, we, we know what comes with it, right? We yeah. know the misconstrued and the halting, at least, you know, especially once you once you get to a certain level, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It comes with it. Now, you know, where you're at now, you know, they may pay no attention to it, but let's say you get 2 million followers, oh, right? And they happen. know IG. It's going to happen. Yeah, they know IG yeah, is I already, that. I, yeah, I already helped my brother out in uh, Baltimore. You know, he had eczema. Mm. Uh, his name is Alex Howard. And I helped him with his eczema, and now it's 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 damn near almost gone now. You and know that, what I mean? No, and, no thanks to the uh, the cream yeah, that yeah. they tell you to use. Um, uh, yeah, out of the tube, the white the white yeah. toothpaste looking shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. So you know, I got him on a, a, a the doctor say we died, and he he's feeling great, man. He feels he, fe- he feels great. That's he what's feels up. great. He said, "Is this is the best he's ever felt?" And I said, "You know, just keep doing what you're doing, bro, and and stick to it." I 
I dropped him off a, a care package of a shower filter, some good soap that he can use, um, uh, some spring water as well, and some other things. I think I had made like uh, brownies or something or muffins. I think it was blueberry muffins. I, I took that to him that I made. And uh, he loved it, man. So he's doing good, man. He's doing That's really what's good. Up. Yeah, keep it going, bro. Yeah. Keep it going for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, because like I said, I mean, it's 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 spooky out here on so many levels. No, it is. It's spooky out here it on really so is. many levels, man. Um, so the movie I'm trying to uh, I'm actually watch after this. Um, like we said before, how you know everything kind of gets misconstrued, and I'm I'm I I don't practice you know Muslim. Yeah. But with the nation of Islam, you know, back when, you know, Malcolm X, you know, he was, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, used to give speeches and whatnot. I used to listen to a few of his speeches and whatnot. Yeah. And he always would say or some uh, interview and an interviewer would ask him, it's even on uh shit. It's even on uh, one of Kodak's song. Interview, oh, yeah. Kodak you know, Black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An interview to, interviewer would ask Malcolm, like, you know, um, it's a rise and the label of the Nation of Islam is being violent. Mm-hmm. Now, these labels, where do you think these labels came from? Exactly. It didn't come from the black community, no. right? And he pretty much, you know, Malcolm Light was like, nah, we've never had a case of being violent. Right. Starting any violence. If we retaliated, it's because, you know, police, the government, whatever, yeah, just tried to put their foot on our necks. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's, all it is is mm-hmm. a, a, a guilt trip in the mind, mm-hmm. you know, that, um, you know, the government has implanted on white people mm-hmm. that were violent because it's, you know, the subconscious. It, it gets deep. Subconscious yeah, bro, of, you know, we, the, yeah, 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 yeah. I already know. Yeah. yeah. yeah, but, yeah, yeah I, I know, bro. Yeah, I'm, we on the same yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I only went there to say that, um, you know, they did the same with the Black Panther Party. And I'll yeah. say that because with the new movie, out, uh, I think it's called Judas and the Black Messiah. I have to watch that. I'm, I've I'm, never seen that. Did you Where see the trailer? So no. it's, it's with the dude from uh, Get Out. Okay, yeah, Who was yeah, also yeah. on Queen and Slim. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and, that. And Lakeith Suffield, I think his last name. Right. Sorry if I butchered, butchered it. I think it's Lakeith Suffield mm-hmm. from uh, the show Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And then he was in that movie. Um, uh, he was in Uncut Gems. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Lakeith, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's basically about uh, Fred Hampton, who was a, you know, a Black Panther uh, member. And... Um, and I'm because I did uh, at Bowie. I had to do like a freaking ten page paper on the Black Panthers, but it was very interesting. Yeah. Because I had no idea about them, and I'll be you know honest, you know, not to be ignorant by saying this, but I wasn't fully educated on Black Panthers. So from what's being implemented by you know outside sources about the Black Panther Party is that you know they was just you know black people with guns that you know may have had a chip on their shoulder and was violent and. You know, all the bad labels. I right. did kind of fall a little bit to some of those, but that's just because I was ignorant. I didn't know anything about it. But it was a complete opposite. All They had guns because they were exercising their right to bear arms. Yeah. It started in Oakland. You know, the police were, you know, just like now, like today. Yeah. Just abusing. Oakland was bad. Yeah, no, abusing, bad. killing, and doing whatever they want mm-hmm. to the black community. Yeah. And it was like, okay, we're going to protect our brothers and sisters. We're going to exercise our right to bear arms. And that's all it was. And with Fred Hampton, um, you know, he was he was a great leader through um, the Black Panther Party. And, again, tried to misconstrue, you know, his word, his image, and whatnot. And when that didn't work, he was too strong for it. Put it to a cease. Um, you know, they killed them on a, on a, on a raid. They call it, you know, uh, they called it a legal you know, search and seizure type of raid type thing, but they just mm, yeah. ambushed them and killed right. them. It, it was awful, but yeah. I just say to say that, that I have to check out the movie. You know, I hope it really goes into detail I about. I check it out too. Yeah, it, bro, it gets I'm ugly. sitting here thinking like, damn. It gets ugly, bro. <laughs> the, um, the the FBI director at the time, uh, J. Edgar Hoover, I think yeah. his name was. He was a piece of shit, and <laughs> it's a building in it's a building in D.C. named after him, which I really don't understand why. I felt like, you know, over the summer when they were tearing down statues and whatnot, they should have blew up that fucking building. Yeah. But um, he constructed something called the COINTELPRO, which was basically a, by any means necessary, stop the Black Panther Party. And they met by That's any crazy. means necessary. That's crazy. It, it, it gets deep. So I That's hope, crazy, I hope yeah. the movie, you know, goes into all that. Um, so, yeah, I just had, you know, shout that out. I want to watch that movie. Yeah. I'm I actually watch about to watch movie, it tonight. Bro. Yeah. Um, it's already out? Yeah. 
So you oh. know how you know movie theaters and whatnot is closed. So it's yeah. on HBO now or HBO Go. All the movies go to HBO now and HBO Go. So if you huh. got if you got stocks with them right now, man, you you want to <laughs> doing come numbers, up. Yeah. especially Tesla. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah Tesla, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Definitely Tesla. So before we get out of here, right, we have to give a uh, day by day talk session. So right. the day by day talk is words for the day by day walk in life, which I usually like to get from my special guest to right. give to the viewers. So what words do you would you give to someone who was looking to change their diet for the better, right? But who may not think, you know, uh for whatever reason, they may not be as successful with it. And it may not even be a plant based diet. And it may not even be permanently. It may just be something that they want to change for three days out of the week or whatever it may be. Um, you know, what what would you give to them who are hesitant, who may not have, you know, the the proper route, a proper amount of confidence in themselves for doing it. Well, man, you know, the position that you're in is like, if you if 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 you're already if you're already contemplating about this and your gut is telling you to to this is right, then you should definitely go for it, man. I mean, it, it's better than being in the situation that you're in now, you know, mm. with your 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 health and your diet, you know. Uh just um man, I just don't just don't be hesitant. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Just yeah. if you feel like, oh, maybe I should try this and just go for it, man. Life is way too short, man. Mm. Like life is way too short. So just don't if don't just don't I don't even know how to explain it, bro. Just if if that's what you want to do, just go for it, bro. Don't, like say it really yeah, sounds like you're saying follow yeah, your heart. Bro. Follow don't, your heart. Don't yeah, listen that's to good. your don't yeah. look, don't follow your brain. Your yeah, brain bro. can play tricks. Yeah, your brain bro. can play tricks. Yeah. Follow the heart. Yeah, exactly, bro. I exactly. appreciate that. And I'm pretty yeah. sure, you know, whether it's just that one person that heard it yeah. and took heap to it appreciates it as well. I also appreciate you pulling up on the show, yes, man. Yes, bro. I needed to do this. Yes, sir. I appreciate everybody yeah. who tuned in, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to whatever podcast platform you are using. Make sure that you hit subscribe and like and rate. Yes. This is Jermaine, a.k.a. the Nutritional <laughs> Teacher. And I told y'all he's the man, the myth, the yeah. legend. Thanks for pulling up, bro. <laughs> yes, my work speaks for itself yeah, on my yeah, page. You'll yeah. see. Get at his IG. Yeah. It's on the description yeah. of whatever whatever you're using to tune in. His IG is in the <laughs> description. I'm telling y'all, check out his page. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. No. Until next time, everybody, make sure that y'all stay <laughs> sane, stay blessed, and stay safe. Yes. <laughs> Peace. Peace.